two of the monsoon session, the Rajya Sabha has passed amendments to the Child Labour Prohibition Bill. So the four-year long wait is finally over. The bill was introduced in 2012 by the then UPA government. Uh, Shireen, you have a special guest to discuss this landmark legislation. Uh, joining us now is Nobel laureate Kailash Satyarthi. Mr. Satyarthi, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. You and I had a conversation in May. You were hopeful that the Labour Minister would ensure the passage of the bill. Radha Sabha has now passed the bill, sir. Are you a happy man today? Are you satisfied with the amendments that have been moved because you had called the earlier version of the bill regressive? Well, I am not happy and neither celebrating today. It is 30 years of my struggle to demand for a strong amendment in the law of 1986. But the present law, which has been passed, has serious lacunas. It's always good to walk a few more miles, but we cannot celebrate until and unless we reach to the destination. And the struggle is still on, not just for the enforcement of the law, but again for the amendment of the law. It has two lacunas, which I mentioned in the past also. One is that it still allows the vague definition of family enterprises. Enterprise. And secondly, uh, it has reduced the number of hazardous occupations under the prohibitive list of the previous law to only three. Hmm. So now we have lesser number of occupations and processes where child labor would be prohibited. We were also expecting uh, that the we were also expecting that the government will have some provision for the rehabilitation of the children who are withdrawn or freed from child labor. Hmm. but it's missing. Mr. Satyarthi, let me pick up on each of those points, sir, because on the uh, uh, family enterprise clause, this has been something that you've been seeking clarity uh, from the government. You had also met with the Labour Minister, Mr. Dattatre. Uh, so clearly none of the suggestions or recommendations made by people like you have been taken into cognizance when it comes to clearly defining what stands or qualifies as a family enterprise. Well, in the initial discussions, they have uh, considered some of my points that include uh, 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 increasing the punishment and making it more deterrent. Uh, there is more clarity about uh, the uh, prohibitive occupation, so prohibitive work up to the age of 14 and uh, then between 14 and 18. But leaving these serious lacunas, uh, it, mm. the law becomes very weak. So on the face, it looks like that they have considered some of my suggestions, but practically mm. speaking, this is not going to happen because there is no uh, inspectoral or monitoring mechanism which can ensure that these so-called family members are really the family members. Mm. Uh, and secondly, it cannot be ascertained that these children are attending the schools and only uh, going to help their so-called families after their mm. uh, school hours or during uh, the holidays. So it's quite, uh, quite a vague situation. So, Mr. Satyati, let me ask you this. Uh, because the government has now reduced the number of prohibitive uh, or hazardous occupations under the prohibitive list from almost 80 or down to three. Do you believe that now uh, children are in fact going to be more vulnerable than previously? Well, um, uh, there is a danger that the children could be employed in the hazardous occupations like BD making or carpet industry, zari, uh, even the leather, plastic, metal works or slaughterhouses. Um, and if they are working along with their family members, uh, uh, in the supply chains where the work is done for the big companies, these children may keep on working because that is on subcontract mm. or um, petty contractor work. So the children can be allowed to work along with their uh, mothers or fathers. And uh, this can happen also with the domestic help. If a mother 
uh, is carrying a young girl, six, seven, eight year old girl, to do the household right. chores at someone's place, the employer's place. The girl would not be directly employed by the the uh, the household or landlord, right. but definitely the girl would be working for the same landlord along with the mother. Okay. So, so you're, you're not satisfied and you believe that uh, the bill that has been passed by the Rajya Sabha today in fact leaves children more vulnerable in India. Uh, you had cautioned the Prime Minister saying that the Make in India dream would come undone if we don't actually have a strong child protection law. Uh, are you going to now appeal to the Prime Minister again? I am going to appeal now because the uh, bill has to be passed by the lower house, by uh, the Lok Sabha. So Prime Minister mm. himself should uh, take the lead in, at, in it and um, uh, should take a bold step because uh, uh, India is striving at Make in India program, Skill India, Digital India and so many things. How you mm. can make India digital and skilled India by way of allowing children to work in these situations, whether in the so-called families or outside families, but the children... Right. Uh, have to get the best quality education. Only then we can fulfill our dreams to make the India a great, strong uh, digital country. Mr. Satyarthi, a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much uh, for joining us and explaining to us what the problems are with the bill that's been passed by the Rajya Sabha late this evening. Uh,